Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> This has been super, super requested. And given the fact that the message that sent this particular request gave me a lot of information about the cover and what the idea behind this studio is. And I'm actually really looking forward to it. So we have checked out some stuff from Masala Coffee before in the live stream last mm. year. I cannot remember anything that we checked out though, because in those streams we check out like, you know, fucking out of 50 videos in like three hours. So, <laughs> we do, yes. this we've never checked out. So, I think this is an AR Roman composition. Ooh. Mm. That's a cajon, guys. Music Dojo. I've played that once. Mojo Dojo Casa House. Pretty easy, actually. Oh. I recognize this somehow. What are you on? Yes, yes, sit down, welcome, welcome. Literally. So what the hell is Masala Coffee? He's the not, studio not, or the band? I, I think it's the... I don't know. So Music Mojo seems to be the studio. I thought he was playing the string. Is he playing uh, the string? He is. Ah, oh, okay, I can't see. What the hell else would he be playing? I don't know, the little metally metal thing in the, underneath it. Oh, he is phenomenal. I love the acoustic guitar. Yeah, it's a ton. What the hell is his name? He is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah the band is called Masala Coffee. Uh -huh. The vocals is called Varum Sunil, or Aslam, or Krishna. He says three vocals. Well, maybe they all sing. Nice. You see that shit? That's the importance of a good assortment of symbols, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. Very nice indeed. God, I love how that sounds. Can we have a moment for that sonic space? of having Spanish guitars into this fusion of elements. It's so good. You have so many Western uh, like elements in here that don't take away from the from the uh, essence of the folkloric music itself at the same time. But well, I think that's what's quite cool of A. R. Raman. That he's quite uh, in his own compositions quite open like to mix a, you know, Tamil original folk sounding stuff or, you know, classical Indian stuff and then mixing it with very westernized or, or Hispanic influences in this case, even sometimes Arabic influences. And mm -hmm. he goes all over the world with his own music. Yes. Um, and then, but at its core, it's uh, very true to classical Indian music. It's so great though, because I, I find that it creates the perfect combination of elements in terms in terms of like you're getting so much depth and the the structure of the song is actually not that difficult even the chord progression of the track is not that difficult it just has that either. weird swell it that you does. don't expect which is quite cool it's really cool though but i love that it's moody and it's uh it it yeah it uh, allows for a lot of that sonic space to do the magic thing this is the best example of the music be music <laughs> What is that sound? What sound? What's doing that That trini trini and... I don't know. 
Is it the keyboardist? Where's that coming from? I think it's on a track. Ooh. See, that's I love that's that's that section, though. Magical Indian vocals, because you can you can create so much, so many undulations. Therefore, that can be interpreted so many emotions and so much. It's like inflections, if you like. And it's very rhythmical at the same time. I like this. Ooh. How? How you do? How? Ooh. Yes. See? Wow, that is so hard. Enhance, enhance. Literally. I need more, to hear everything. More, more volume. So it's not it's what what you're what you're seeing being played. It's not um, what is that you're actually hearing. They've they've already recorded it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so there's like some instruments and some layered vocals that they're not doing at the time. That's Same right. as some like snare hits and stuff. That I thought my mind was fucking tripping balls. Yeah. Because no. sometimes our computer does this thing where like it adds even extra latency. Yeah. So, and you're like, what am I watching? <laughs> yeah. But this is like the they've like already the done the recording. This is the yeah, performance. Like the performance yeah. Video. Very freaking good. Even though that fucking that, Ugh, that was legit. That was that so was good. legitness. <laughs> or maybe they just have a track. What? Maybe they have layers in a track. Yeah. That fucking song bangs, bro. Ah, uh, for Bram. Oh. Honestly, the freaking guitars. The guitars with a sarangi? Wow. That is phenomenal. Oh, think Sick. about resolutions. What? Would, Kappa, Kappa TV. TV. I would love some a tabla in there, you know, in that in that section. I love the Spanish influence, though. The cajon, the Spanish guitars. So, I absolutely think they added so much to that idea of fusion and alternative music. So they, they the singers were Varum Sunil, Aslam Krishna, the band is Masala Coffee, guitars David and Preet Esraj. Which, what the hell is that? Is that the, what we thought was a sarangi? Oh, maybe it is, and I was just being silly. That's Very an Esraj. Very cool. We're not that familiar with this with this instrument. We've never seen this one be played live, I don't think. Nice. Uh, one to one, I guess, comparison to a violin, you could say. That's like the closest thing. Yeah, they similar do to a bowed string yeah. instrument. They do yeah. have a violin, apparently. Amal Sivan. They had the drums by Daya Sankari. Bass guitar, Paul Joseph. Paul Joseph? Paul? Key, and the keys, Steve Couture. 
banging, Every bro. Oh, the comments have turned dope. off. Why? I want to comment. Fucking you know, hell, this is 50 million views. I Jesus told you, Christ. yeah, this was absolutely ridiculously requested. And this I wonder not... why they turned the comments off. If there was any negativity, they fucking come at me, mate. <laughs> how can anyone criticize this shit? That was actually really nice. I love the I love the dynamics, the idea of alternative rock music being included into this fusion of elements. It's so very refreshing and stimulating. It, it literally allows for music to do what music is supposed to do, which is just be. And I love that. Yeah, they really filled out the sonic space really well. The arrangements are really well done. And uh, yeah, like Bale says, like most importantly, it allowed for music to be l like very streamable, very hearable, very easy to listen to. So that that's why it's probably become so and popular. It has, it has a lot of complexities to maintain you really engaged. Entertained, but, yeah. But in terms, in terms of like musical expertise, but at the same time, it doesn't take you away from the listening experience, which sometimes can be uh, polar opposites. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, not many people actually know anything about music that's theory. Right. And that's not the actual market, you know? It, but what you want to try and do is, like, even you can introduce, like, complex principles or be a little bit more, like, uh, musical, if you like. And those elements, for those that may not know exactly what they are, they will still be able to feel them, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? It will still ignite an emotion in them, and I think that's exactly what they've done. So, well done to them. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to check out, and adios.